Located in the Navy headquarters on the Art Walk, this museum, run by the Spanish Ministry of Defense, aims to acquire, conserve, research, communicate and exhibit all kinds of pieces and collections with historic, artistic, scientific, and technical value related to Spain's naval history from the Middle Ages to the present day for the purpose of education and exhibition. Its origins date back to 1792, thanks to an initiative by the Navy Secretary of King Carlos IV, Antonio de Valdez and Fernandez Bazin, in which it was intended to create a marine museum that brought together all of the necessary sciences to instruct the Navy, which came about in 1842. Having been in several venues, the museum opened in 1932 in its current location, which was also home to the Marine Ministry on the first floor of the building. In 1976, an adjacent building was constructed for the extension of the Navy headquarters, increasing the exhibition space to double that of the original museum space. In 1992, the center's penultimate refurbishment was carried out and after being closed for two years, the final refurbishment took place in 2020, providing the museum with modern facilities in which accessibility and the layout of the exhibition spaces have been improved. The museum's collection, which is displayed chronologically in the galleries, includes more than 12,000 pieces characterized by their wealth and heterogeneity. The collections of model vessel S and MAF stand out as one of the best in the world, as well as the astronomical, scientific and navigation instruments, plastic and decorative arts, weapons and flags, uniforms and medals, seafarers supplies, pieces of ethnography and personal belongings of illustrious sailors. It is worth mentioning that these objects include the parchment map beautifully illustrated by Juan de la Cosa, the first ever map on the American continent. The seafarer and cartographer made it in 1500 after having traveled to America on three occasions, accompanied by Christopher Columbus. The collections on display have been donated by diverse institutions and bodies, such as the Royal Household, the former Marine Secretariat, the extinct midshipman companies, the Peninsula's Navy Departments and the colonies of Cuba and the Philippines, the Water System, the Royal Navy Observatory of San Fernando and the Hydrographic Institute of Cadiz, as well as subsequent acquisitions and private donations from individuals or different entities. It shows the history of the Spanish Navy since the Catholic monarchs, in the 15th century, up to the present. The displays set naval history in a wide context with information about the history of the Spanish Empire. The collections include navigation instruments, weapons, maps, and paintings. Its origins date back to a royal decree issued on September 28, 1792, yet it was not until 1843 when the museum was inaugurated in Madrid, initially housed in the Palacio de los Consjos. It was soon moved to the Casa del Platero and then to the Palacio de los Ministerios, where it remained until 1932. The Ministry of the Navy, there used to be a standalone ministerial department for the Navy, fused with those for the Army and the Air Forces in 1977, was provided with a new headquarters in the 1920s, and the museum moved there in 1932. The architects were Jose Espliuz and Francisco Javier de Luc. Visitors enter the museum through a modernist facade on the Paseo del Prado, and pass to the first floor where former courtyards, now exhibition halls of the Naval Museum, are covered by spectacular stained glass roofs with naval and decorative motifs made by Maung Jean, a family glassmaking business which had a branch in Spain. At weekends a doorway onto the grand staircase of Navy headquarters is open to allow visitors to appreciate the architecture. The map of Juan de la Cosa, the earliest preserved map of the Americas is on permanent display in this museum. Since 2007 the museum has hosted a specimen of moon rock. One of two such samples given to Spain, it was collected on the 1972 Apollo 17 mission. The rock, which weighs one gram, was put on display in 2009, to mark the 40th anniversary of the first moon landing. The museum also displays a collection of Ming ceramics rescued from the shipwreck of the San Diego. Although it might seem small at first, the museum is very large and has 24 halls, which are all in chronological order with objects from the 15th century to the present day. Among the most unusual objects are a universal astrolabe, a sundial, bronze cannons, and a map from the year 1500. Each hall is dedicated to a key moment in Spanish naval history, such as the discovery of America, or the Battle of Trafalgar.
Thank mm-hmm. you.
Thank you.